to the person that gets this car. I just wanted to let you know what a special vehicle you've bought. It's a heart-wrenching story about a hidden letter, a car, and its emotional last trip. This car holds a lot of special memories for me. Based on Sabrina, an American woman's true story, it's been filmed locally, shown globally, now considered for an Oscar. Well, I suppose when you make a film, you hope that it's that it's going to go on to go to the Oscars and the BAFTAs and things like that. But at the same time, you feel that that's all sort of a pipe dream. And uh, yeah, it's miraculously happened. Richard and Rachel's production company creates advertising and promotional videos, but last year Richard was keen to make his first film. He was inspired by Sabrina's story, which had gone viral online. It definitely sort of choked me up. Um, the wording that she used for the letter really makes you appreciate what you've got right now. I'm trying not to give away any spoilers, but I, I think that's the main message of it. The story is based in Kentucky, America, filmed on the Acle Strait in Norfolk. Family and friends worked for free to shoot it. Luckily, we had the most incredible actress, Jolie Lennon, who um, her performance is outstanding and she really just knew, she knew what the story was about and she embodied her character and it made Richard's life a lot easier um, for, because she was so easy to direct. One, two, three, go. Hello, my name is Maisie and who are you? And their own children also acted in the film. Now that it's yours, please remember it isn't just a car. You're right. The film has been long listed for a BAFTA, screened at 30 it's film so festivals worldwide, and received 12 awards. I never thought that I'd even be entering into the Oscars, so that's amazing. If our journey stopped here, that would be fine, but who knows? I think there's small chances, but we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> They'll hear in December if they've been shortlisted for an Oscar. Debbie Tubby, BBC Lequeste, Norfolk.